In this video, I'm going to go over this new linear template that I've created that can actually accept six different types of drywall, three on each side of the wall. So we're going to click on this green button, and when this input window opens up, we're going to answer these questions here. The name of the wall can be entered here, and you can name it whatever you want. Wall type 1, wall type 2, whatever the, the plan calls for. The description will automatically be filled in as you pick the parts. The framing labor, I'm going to change this to heavy gauge framing. The wall height, I'm going to make this an 18 foot high wall. And we're going to use a 6 inch track 18 gauge. And here we'll use a 6 inch stud. Since it's 18 gauge, we've got to grab this inch and 5 eighths flange. And the studs are going to be 18 feet long. The on center spacing will keep. The framing screws, let's pick a number 10, 3 quarter inch hex head driller. The drywall screws, let's grab inch and 5 eighths self drillers. The dural rock screws are good. The joint compound's good. The tape's good. The bad insulation, let's say it's only going to go up 10 feet high on this wall. And we're going to pick R19, 16 on center. We can change the fill type or we can change the color. We can add this to a folder we want. I'm just going to call it the first floor. Now we're going to look up here and I have filled out the general tab. Now we're going to fill out the wall side one tab. And let's call this wall side one the inside of the building. You can call it the outside whatever way you want to go with it. But the inside of this building, I'm going to say that we need to have dural rock half inch. And it's only going to go up one foot high. And we're going to use a 10 foot length board, a 4 by 10 sheet. And then we're going to look at the B side of the wall. I mean, 1B is the same side of the wall. It's just the next board up. And let's use this half inch moisture resistant. As the default, we're going to take that. And let's take the half inch regular for the rest of the side of the wall to the deck. Okay, so we got our four foot high on the half inch moisture resistant. We'll use a four by 12 sheet. Now the wall is 18 feet high, so I only have four feet and one feet. That's five feet high. So I'm going to have to go up 13 feet to the rest of to the deck with this other drywall. Okay, and now we're going to go to um, the same side of the wall, and we're going to look at our fire taping. Now the first board is, is drill rock, and we don't need to fire tape that, so we're going to click on none. And the second board up doesn't need any fire taping. We'll say none. Now the third board up is half inch regular to the deck, and yes, we need to fire tape that. Well, 1A, we don't need no... fire taping, so we're just going to put zero in these fields. In the second board up, we don't need any fire taping. Now let's say the ceiling is um, 10 feet high, the wall is 18 feet high, so we, we need to tape, fire tape 8 feet of this wall. So we're going to say a 12 foot board and a 4 by 12 sheet. Now we'll look at wall side 2. Wall side two, we're going to say we're going to use Dural Rock, or let's use um, Dens Glass. Okay, we'll use 5 8 Dens Glass on the outside of this building. In fact, we're going to use it all the way up. So I put none in here and none in here. And we're going to put the board height for side 2A is going to be 18 feet high. And we're going to use a 10, 4 by 10 sheet. So we'll click 4 by 10. And the B, uh, the 2B, we're not going to have any, uh, we're going to put zero on all of these. We don't need to do anything else with that. Now remember, you can do whatever you want to do. You can use three different types of sheetrock on the outside of the wall as well. Now the fire taping for the outside of the wall, side two, we don't need any fire taping since it's all dense glass. So we're just going to pick none 
for all of these boards. And then we're going to have to go down here and we're just going to zero tab, zero tab to these next fields and zero this all out. Okay? Now we're done. We can click OK and digitize our wall. And I'm just going to digitize it like this for the sake of time. You guys know how to digitize the walls. I'll just get some material and parts in here. We'll click Escape. We're going to click off the wall, click back on the wall to refresh this window over here. And this is where we see all the material we just dropped in on this wall. Okay? And labor. All right? And this here window is where we can change anything we want to on this wall. If we want to change the board type or the <clears throat> the screws, anything we want to change, just click on it there, and there's a drop-down window, and just make your changes. Okay. Now let's take a look at the estimating tab and expand this folder and expand the wall. Now across this wall here, it's showing us $43,000 is what the whole wall is going to cost. Um, our track, our studs, our drywall, and our labor all is in here. All right, now you can become a drywall estimating fool like myself, and that concludes this video.